Hey y'all, it's Ebony. Welcome or welcome back. Hope y'all are doing okay today. So as you can tell by the title of this video, today we're going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. I want to just say hey and talk to my, you know, returning subscribers, all the new subscribers. There's a lot of new faces here. I really do hope that y'all enjoy this video and you can let me know that you enjoy this video by subscribing, by liking, and by commenting y'all. But yeah, without further ado, y'all, let's get started. Okay, so let's put this hair up first and foremost so that we could get this thing started i have been wearing my natural hair um for a couple weeks now probably like maybe two or three weeks actually i'm just trying to give my hair some much needed tlc before i do anything else with it because y'all them braids i knew that was a risk of me getting them in the first place but y'all the braids really do be taking a toll on your hair, at least mine. I'm gonna start with um, this Fenty Beauty, what is it, soft matte um, primer. And I'm just gonna apply it directly to my face actually because no need in me, you know, putting it on the back of my hand, not for this product. First and foremost, I want to start with a mental health check-in. Um, I just wanna make sure y'all are doing okay out there in these streets. Um, I know life and over the last year or so at this point has not been too much easier but it seems like we're moving in a more i guess open direction when it comes to like quarantine and this whole c19 situation um i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing i feel like honestly that a lot of you know these states and the country as a whole they've been a little lenient when they shouldn't have been but you know you're more than welcome to take the precautions that you need to take in order to protect you and your family and your everyday life so yeah as far as mentally right now i'm doing good y'all i'm doing as good as i can be i started taking some new vitamins um they are like happiness vitamins literally i can show y'all a picture of the bottle and everything i got these from target i'm not gonna lie i don't notice anything significant yet um i feel like i'm expecting like a huge difference in my everyday mood but um i do think that primarily falls on yourself not so much the vitamins as far as the vitamins themselves i don't know if i see much of a difference but we, i'll keep you know track and hopefully i do experience a difference because y'all this bottle was twenty dollars i don't want to spend twenty dollars to you know have to think whether or not i see a difference i want to experience a difference so i'm using a couple different primers right now y'all this is just a chit chatty video so forgive me if i'm not telling y'all each and every product that i'm using i just felt like doing my makeup I want to take some pictures today because I want to put a little bit more effort into my social media. Primarily Instagram, y'all. I literally post on Instagram like once or twice a year. And that's being generous. I don't know what, what that's due to necessarily. I think I'm just self-conscious about the numbers. Like seeing the numbers and all that stuff. And like, I guess seeing the numbers and not seeing the numbers is the scary thing. It's like, oh, if I don't get X amount of likes on a post that like are people like you know looking at me a certain type of way or you know is, am i validating myself by these likes and by you know the engagement in the post it's just weird social media in itself is weird how everything is driven by numbers and whatnot it just makes you feel really self-conscious and i want to get out of that feeling and get out of that mind frame i just want to do what i like and post what i like that's why i started youtube to begin with i just wanted to take on this you know new thing and i thought it was going to be fun and exciting and i wanted to just do something that was for me something that i liked and there was no judgment so i'm trying to have that mind frame with every you know piece of social media that i hit i want to be free and use social media how i want to despite like who's looking who's not looking what i'm seeing you know i just want to be live for me y'all life is so short i just seen something today michael k williams he just passed away at 54 years old today if this past year hasn't taught us anything it's that life is super short and stop it's time to stop living for other people and start living for ourselves because 
at the end of the day, when I look back on my life, I'm not looking through the lens of somebody else. I'm looking through the lens of my own eyes. And I want to be happy with the memories I've created, with the people I've met, with, you know, every aspect of my life. I know every day isn't going to be, you know, happy and, you know, you're not going to be positive and in a great mood every single day. But I want to look back and realize that most of my life was spent the way that I wanted to live it, not the way that somebody else wants me to live it. I just turned 25 and I don't know if it's just one of them things that's like when you turn a certain age and you reach a certain milestone in life and things like that that you feel like you're obligated to have these um what's the word I'm looking for like these introspective um I don't know uh eureka type of moments in your life but i don't know turning 25 just really just made me want to step into me 110 percent like i want to be me i want to be the best version of me i don't want to live for somebody else thinking that you know if i don't act this way people are gonna you know view me negatively and things like that i want to live for me for what i like to do for you know everything that is ebony i feel like there's really something in being intentional about you know the the life that you want to live and the steps that you want to take and you know the future that you see for yourself and i feel like birthdays are a great way to i guess a great point to start you know setting those intentions it's like okay i'm at this new age and now that i've reached this age it's time for me to just you know put into the universe put out to the universe what i want to come of this day in the future and you know it, I, I think it's really something special about birthdays but i want to step into my confidence i want to step into everything that is ebony i don't want anything to hold me back i don't want to be held back by doubt by anything by anybody i want to be the best version of me i at the beginning of this year my first ever youtube video i did a new year's resolution vlog and i decided that i wanted to you know do certain things with youtube and do other things with my life like you know i put that video out there so <laughs> It, you know, it kind of inspired me to actually work towards those things. Sometimes it takes, you know, you putting certain things out into the universe and making them um, public to people that it inspires you to, you know, okay, it puts a flame up under you like, okay, I put this out there so now I actually got to do it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, these eyebrows look crazy. Everything looks crazy right now, but just trust the process because it's just, it's going to come together at the end. I promise. Or at least I hope. <laughs> let's go back to youtube i want to talk to y'all about youtube there's a lot of new faces here a lot of you know different people who have been introduced to me from my try on video i want to say welcome i hope that y'all are here to stick around and you know um will enjoy the future content that i put out and all the previous content that i have put out and um i just hope that y'all enjoy me right now i'm trying to you know figure out exactly what i want to do with this youtube thing and um ultimately i just want to do and post things that make me happy things that i enjoy um i know a lot of y'all like i said have been introduced to me through that past video and while i do want to give y'all the content that y'all you know obviously that y'all enjoy which is obviously try on content i'm gonna post other things too i just want to let y'all know so i want y'all to know that i like makeup i haven't posted a makeup video in a while which is why i wanted to sit down and do this little get ready with me chit chatty video i like to talk obviously i think y'all see that in every single video i post so i don't not, i don't need to tell y'all that um <laughs> i like home stuff um home stuff is expensive so as much as i want to dive into that y'all things are expensive so, you know, we we visit home every now and again when we can. That's how often we're going to visit home. My goal with YouTube is to, you know, make my subscribers. I, I feel like subscribers is kind of a weird word to me. But, I mean, obviously that's what it, what the name is. But I guess I want to call y'all my, my family, my extended family, YouTube family. My goal with YouTube is to make y'all happy and, like, give y'all content that y'all enjoy. But ultimately ultimately like i have mentioned previously my goal is to post stuff that it makes me happy too so you know i'm gonna strive and try my best to post you know variety a wide variety of content 
watch what you like i encourage you to watch what you like i encourage you to try out some other videos too watch some other content maybe you might you know find it enjoyable but um yeah just bear with me y'all another thing i wanted to touch on in today's video is just youtube and you know youtube journeys and comparing yourself to others i think that's where social media as a whole comes in because you know it's hard not to compare yourself when you have literally like the world at your fingertips you're seeing people your age who you may consider doing better than you um it's hard to not compare yourself but everybody's journey is different y'all i'm a part of a youtube group and wow what was that <laughs> anyway i'm a part of a youtube group and I see different people on there um, talking about their individual journeys and like some people they've been able to be monetized within like six months of being on YouTube perhaps like a certain video of theirs just blew up and you know they met the goals to be monetized and then there's other people whose journey's not as quick they have been on YouTube for X amount of years and they still have you know a hundred subscribers or they're sitting at you know 30 subscribers something like that everybody's journey is different um it's hard like i said not to compare yourself but at the end of the day just know that what's for you is for you you're not supposed to live in someone else's you know journey obviously you're here and you're your own individual for a reason so you know things are just going to be different you know for me personally um, I've been doing YouTube since the beginning of this year, so January 2021. I don't remember the exact date that I posted my first video, but, sorry y'all, let me do this. Okay, at least I got one eyebrow done. I'm gonna do the other one, but I just wanna talk to y'all for a minute. So, I don't remember the exact date that I posted my first video. I'll put it on the screen um, here because I'll be able to find it by the time I'm editing this video. But it took me eight months to reach 100 subscribers, y'all. Now, granted, I'm not consistent with YouTube just because I have a full-time job and, like, I have other priorities before YouTube. So, like I said, for me right now, YouTube is a hobby. I want to eventually make it into something that, you know, makes me money and, like, a business. But right now, I have other things that come before YouTube. Again eight months to make 100 subscribers you know what i'm saying right now y'all can't see but i'm over 900 subscribers again that is because of um that video that i recently posted the um she and try and haul I, I gained a lot of subscribers from that video and again thank you to each and every one of you thank you to all of those who you know came here from a different video i appreciate every one of you and i hope that we can grow more and more and more and stronger and stronger but all of that is to say everyone's journey is different there were times that i wanted to give up on youtube because i wasn't i felt like i was putting out content that you know was great but that's because i'm making the content of course i think that the content i'm putting out is you know great and gonna blow up and stuff like that <laughs> but that's because i'm making the content you know what i'm saying when i would get in this mind frame and like get in this mood about youtube i had to remind myself again that everyone's journey is different and that you know there are people who are enjoying your content so instead of focusing on what you don't have how about you focus on what you do have and enjoy just right now enjoy the process enjoy you know learning about things making videos um right now I've been trying to vlog as of lately and I'm not very good at vlogging because I get very nervous and uncomfortable vlogging but I watch other people's content in order to learn from them and like how they do vlogs and like how they go about and just move throughout the city when they're doing vlogs and things like that that inspires me to keep going so it's just all trial and error error again everyone's journey is different i don't know how many times i said that in this video but you know just take your time with things and with youtube you know not even in the realm of youtube just everything in life like it, it i know it's easier said than done but like the sooner you stop comparing your life and your journey to someone else's the freer you'll be and like the happier you'll you'll be because you're no longer living for you know that you're living for yourself i'm just looking forward to this journey y'all like i'm just so inspired i'm really just looking forward to everything that is going to come of the next year and the next few months and i'm just very excited so again thank y'all and welcome to all the new people i hope that y'all are enjoying my channel enjoying 
this little community definitely feel free to leave me a comment i respond to you know comments i don't respond to all of them because some of these comments be out of pocket y'all i ain't even gonna cap like some of these po these comments be really crazy but my camera died and yeah <laughs> um i left off saying that um when you're posting content to the public you cannot dictate who watches your video how they interact with your video it you're literally posting your content to the public so whatever you get is just what you get but i just want to say it would be nice if people were a little more um a little more considerate when they were posting comments just because you know there is a person on the other side of that screen like in real life there's a person so you know it's just it'll just be nice to be more considerate so the eyebrows are pretty much done for the most part nothing much going on with them i'm using nars um this is the nars natural radiant longwear foundation um i only tried this a few times i initially tried it in miami the color was too dark for me and then I came back home and then exchanged it for this color. Um, it's a little better, but I don't think it's quite my color yet. So I mix it with um, my Fenty, um, what is this, long wear foundation, the soft matte foundation, just because the Fenty foundation is a little dark for me. So I just mix it with this. It doesn't look dark in the bottle, but y'all, it's a little dark for me. And I just put like a pump of the Fenty and a couple pumps of the NARS and that's about it y'all please do not come for my brushes because they are not clean and before y'all get into the comments about you know acne or anything y'all I got acne prone skin I got you know I don't want to say bad skin because that I feel like that's putting negative energy out there but my skin is not good and it, my skin needs some work but I don't think it's because of makeup I y'all I really don't even wear makeup I'm only putting it on for this video I haven't worn makeup since when I went out for my birthday other than that I don't wear makeup and before my birthday I had and wear warm makeup since Miami and I only put it on because you know it was a special occasion type of thing we were going out to the club so obviously I wanted to be done up but yeah before y'all start assuming up in the comments it ain't even like that i do not wear makeup and yeah i don't wear it often I, if i could i would but i feel like with the mask and everything like that it's no point almost and i'm i'm gonna wear my mask y'all i it's still me in this mask to the end of time at this point okay i'm gonna spray on a little bit of this i hope this camera doesn't cut off again i don't even know what i was talking about <laughs> I keep looking at the camera because I'm trying to make sure it's not cutting off. I got my eye on you, Canon. All right, so the concealer is done. And I'm about to take my brush, no extra product, and just make sure my forehead is smooth and like make sure that there's no harsh lines and everything is blending in with each other. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing DoorDash again because I'm gonna be going on a trip again next month. And I like to do DoorDash just to have some extra spending money for this trip and, you know, make sure that I'm not, I just make sure that I have some cushion and wiggle room while I am where I'm at. So I'm looking forward to my trip. I'm gonna go visit a friend. I'm so excited, hopefully she will, like doing my youtube she actually has a youtube channel of her own but i'm not gonna say anything yet i'll just wait <laughs> and introduce her when the time has come and if she would like to be a part of my youtube that's another thing like you know with youtube how much you want to share and things like that you definitely can make your own rules so like family and friends and stuff definitely set boundaries you don't have to present yourself to the world show what you want that's how all social media is people show what they want to show the receivers of that content just have to deal with it you can show what you want to show and people are entitled to that yeah that's just something we got to deal with so I'm, I'm looking forward to going on this trip though um ever since i came back i've already been wanting to go on another trip i've just been you know just ready to see other parts of the world go to places i have not been i'm going somewhere that i've never been to before never even been to the state this is a domestic travel but i'm still excited because i'm still getting away getting out the house and seeing someplace different i'm looking forward to it i'm still going to be wearing my mask because that's just what we do around these parks and you know i'm just 
I'm just excited, y'all. I still am working on the whole friends thing, y'all. I'm trying to make friends and stuff. It's hard, I feel like. I have my bestie, but that's like, I don't even consider her a friend. That's family, you know what I'm saying? I want to just make friends and like have people to go hang out with and stuff like that. But me in the house all the time. How am I make friends in the house? You know what I'm saying? I got to get out and do something. Okay, I'm putting too much on. I don't know why I'm being so doing overdoing it over here y'all okay let's calm down all right now <sighs> onto the eyes onto the eyes as y'all know i keep it real simple over here in these streets so i'm gonna just let's see y'all i'm trying to find if i want to work with a different palette or not <laughs> I just use my makeup revolution palette. I use this all the time. This this palette is so good. I got it from Ulta and these are very um they're inexpensive compared to other brands, but I feel like the quality of the product is still great. So that's what we love over here. Let's see. Anything else to talk about, y'all? I guess I'll just talk about shows I've been watching. Over here, we love reality TV, so I was looking again at the camera, making sure everything is fine. But <laughs> I love reality TV. I love watching um, specifically black reality TV because that's what I relate to. I'm a black woman. So I want to see black people on my screen. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Lately, I've been watching um, Real Housewives of Potomac. Of course, I watch Real Housewives of Potomac, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, I've also been watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, actually, because they have a black um, cast member on there, Garcelle Bouvet. So I've been watching that. This season is really good of um, Beverly Hills and really good of Potomac. Potomac, they, Potomac, I don't think Potomac has had a bad season, honestly. Me and my boyfriend just finished watching Clickbait on Netflix. Y'all, that show was good. It's like a short series. It was good. Um, I was a little annoyed at first, like the acting and stuff was a little cringy to me at first, but as the show progressed, it got better to me. Um, I'm somebody like if I start a show, I want to finish it unless it's like really bad. I tried watching what is it manifest and that show, the acting was just too horrible on there for me to even want to finish. So I had to stop it, but I like to finish it cause I don't like for the show to stay in my like continue watching on Netflix so I'd rather just finish it to get it out of there and um yeah I'm glad that we actually stuck with this show though because um clickbait was pretty good so if you're looking for something to watch on Netflix and you like um I guess suspense definitely check out clickbait I'm not a scary type of girl like I do not like scary movies I don't like being scared and um at the end the final episode of clickbait had me shook but it was still um, bearable. I kind of do a lot with the blush. I mean, it don't, does it look like I'm doing a lot? A little bit, what else I want to do? I'm gonna put on a little bit of mascara. I don't want to put on a lot. Am I missing something? I know I'm missing a lip, but am I missing something else? All right, so let me change my shirt and then I'm gonna come back and put on a lip. Alright y'all, that's pretty much it. Let's do a little slow-mo. Should I put my glasses on real quick? Alright y'all, so that is all for today's video. I hope that y'all have a great week, a great weekend whenever you're watching this video. Please be kind to one another out there and spread a little love because y'all know right now we all need it. Um, but yeah, I hope that y'all enjoyed.